So, <clears throat> the stuff about ego, soul, love, fear, all that kind of stuff, forget it. Forget it. Just ignore it. There's so many different perceptions of what each of those things is that it's fucking ridiculous. Um, God, Satan, none of that matters because truthfully all there is is our physical body or our ego, which is what I'll call that, and our emotional body, which is our soul. Our soul is the spiritual part of us that is going to exist forever and ever. There's nothing we can do about it. Energy can never be created nor destroyed. And looking at it as energy, then it's easier to understand. The emotional body, positive, is love. Negative is interpreted as fear. Fear is a separation of love, meaning that it's an incomplete process to come to... Uh, get to love so meaning that you don't know how to love meaning that it doesn't know how to be a complete process if you pull a block from a circle and it'll be an incomplete circle there will be a gap it'll it'll be a fear of being complete it'll be a separation from being complete it's not hard people just pay attention to me man Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's easy. Love is all there is. Everything is love. Nothing else matters. It, fear is just a, a motivation for a response to stimulus. So if you are scared of doing something, are you scared of doing it? Or is it... Is your, literally you can interpret fear as is my life in jeopardy or not am I at risk of dying no or not that's what you need to view fear as if you say you can't do something are you going to die from it is it going to kill you to do it or is it more the fear of failure because you tried it and you didn't succeed so therefore you feel insecure about it when actually security is love because love is everything love is all encompassing love is unconditional so i don't know just I'm so sick of people not listening to me